Hello there, everyone, and welcome to No Umbrellas Allowed. I'll be honest, I actually don't know very much about this game. I just know it's like a shopkeep simulator, kind of something like that, like a pawn shop. That's really all I know. I just kind of found it on Steam, thought it was cool. I was like, eh, it's record worthy. Let's give it a try. So... I do know one thing. The game is more than what it appears to be, as most of the games I play tend to be that way. Because those are the games that interest me. But anyways, let's just jump right into it. 2080 Ajax City. I think they say that. Ooh, a fire. Last night, there was a massive explosion at the Citizens Alliance Research Institute in Central Bunker District. Due to the explosion, most of the artificial rain tech files and the fixer manufacturing facilities are all gone. The government and the associate, Association of Victims of Avarice Crimes have announced that they need at least eight more weeks to resume the Fixarian project. Fixarian project. Oh, excuse me. For now, Ajax City, the last city waiting for the fix, fixer rain, is to stay dry for a few more weeks. Ooh. Oh, thanks. Just clock me with your, your cane, why don't ya? Hey, are you dead? Obviously not. P -p Please, help me. Shush, an AVAC guy is coming. What the hell? Uh, okay. This is Dalpong. I just heard some. Ah, look at the night sky. More beautiful than ever, isn't it? What's wrong with him? Is he injured? Is he from the insta? No, this is my son. He's got weak legs since he was a child. It's typical, don't worry. Do you need any help? No, everything's fine. Hmm. <laughs> Guy's basically dead on the ground. You know what? Fine, whatever. Who cares? Lucky me. You fit the profile. Oh boy. I wonder what's about to happen to me. Wow, I look dead. What, is there something on my face? Hey, you're here. The doctor said your face got the most injuries, so he covered your whole face with bit. Okay. I was wondering, it looked a little weird. You can take them off after a week, but he's not sure your face will be the same as it was before. Huh. Ah. Ah, I'm Darcy. Just an old-timer who owns a second-hand shop nearby. And from this moment, you'll be my son, Bob. I know you're not just an ord ordinary fugitive, and AVAC will keep track of you as you show it up right after the accident. So, after you get back on your feet, you should manage my store, pretending you're my son. The store is on the B1 level of the Bad Polis and Sing 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 side is whatever. And you You guys can read pause and read whatever I miss. Day one. <sighs> Alright, let's do this. Ooh. Nice music. A and D to walk, as as expected. Where do I go? Hey, you're new here, aren't you? You gotta pay a fee to pass through here. I don't have any money. What are you staring at? 
Looks like you really are new. Falling for this crap. Beat it before I really make you pay. Well, you're a dirtbag. But fine. It's gonna be like that. I go this way. Haga City. I don't go this way. Okay, well, this is a great start. I wasn't really told much controls other than... Oh, okay. Uh, middle? Middle would be B, right? That would make sense. Let's just move on. I'm sick of this shitty neighborhood. <laughs> That's it? Alright. Hi there, how you doing? Okay. I'll mind my own business. How about top? Maybe the top has something. Here we go. This is where we're supposed to be. Probably not this way, but let's go here anyways. Darcy's son is back in town. I don't think they're talking about me, though, because it wouldn't really make any sense. I mean, I know he said that was going to be who I am, but... Move to Mendezlo. By the way, why aren't you looking for a job? What for? We'll soon get all fixed anyway. Interesting. What if AVAC is lying? Yeah. What if they pour our fixer rain tomorrow right away? Interesting. Interesting. Ajax City for runaways. I guess we just keep on going. I wish J Januk side could be developed by half of sing si sing sing side don't rush it's dangerous okay i won't move then i'm running what's your purpose in sing sing side today to buy some flowers and clothes to do hair too to do hair i'm going to the second hand shop coming with me Nah, i like to buy new ones i think that's where i'm supposed to go that sing sing sounds familiar. Maybe I can catch him by myself. Are you a cop? Avac must start finding antidotes. Okay. Fixer cannot save us. What? I don't understand. Okay, okay, okay. Donate for fixer rain. Let's go down a floor. This one, this one's the one I'm supposed to go to. Never seen that floaty around. Ooh, a machine. Hi, I'm Hugh. People call me the Sphinx of Darcy's. And you are. You look much better now. Welcome to Darcy's, the secondhand shop. I've been running this place for more than 30 years. And as I told you, you are now my son, Bob, who will inherit the store for me. That is why I picked you up from the beach. Avax's been pestering me about this, about his whereabouts, and I needed a stand-in for Bob. Yeah, after all that time now, they're looking for Bob? Oh, but Darcy, what if Bob comes back out of the blue? That is not going to happen. It's been almost a decade since he left. By the way, this one here is Hugh. He's, it's got a mouth on it, but it'll be of help anyway. Ha! Huh. Now let's start discussing what you are going to do here. At here, you are b going to both buy and sell things, and you must stay alert at all times. Every customer wants to get paid more. That's because this place is off the grid from the citizen discourse data radar. I did it so that I don't have to care about AVAC in here. There's side effects, just like you said. Customers all, all get so cocky as soon as they get in here. Hmm. Anyway, for today, I'll teach you how to negotiate price when buying things. That's where to start. When buying things, it's really important to find a balance. It has to be a price that the customer can accept, and that can still make you a profit when resold. So you can't just start yelling out prices. You have to appraise the item first. When it comes to appraising things, I use cards. Customer, customers introduce their items with cards. Cup 29V. It, if without a lack of fins or a lot, what? Okay. Gray card, base information, base price. Green card, detailed information, changes in price. AA logo leather, 50, okay. Interesting. 
Oh, I forgot the blue cards. Green cards include objective information. On the other hand, blue cards are close to opinions, just like how damaged, how popular a rare an item is. Sharing blue cards are like sharing your opinion, at which customers may protest or get mad. Huh. I see. To share a card with a customer, you must insert the card in the card slot. The combination of cards yield a price. You can use that as a guideline while bargaining. But don't worry too much about colors. For now, focus on bargaining the price based on the cards. Here, the great card for this bag says bag. Bags are usually sold for 100 vanis. Let's say brand A is pretty high end, which means the price goes up by 200. Cowhide means adding an extra 50 vanis to the price. And finally, the price went down by 20% as it is slightly damaged. Now you can start bargaining based on the prices these cards have set. Can you see 280 below the card slots? That's the guideline. You can suggest 280 from the start if you want to go easy. But if you want to make a profit, you better cut it by at least one third. Decide how much to offer. At first, offer less than 70% of the guideline. Okay. Make an offer. Use the calculator to set its buying price and press offer. Say yes or no to a customer's offer. Say yes, press accept. If no, insert new numbers and press offer. I'm not good at math. So since this is your first offer, you can be a little bit bolder. Use the calculator on your down right and try 190. Okay, I, I mean, I guess that makes sense. 190, offer. Good, but mostly customers won't accept your first offer. Instead, they will make a counter offer like this. How about 200 left? Oh, cause I'm buying it. Yeah, okay, makes sense. So I wanna offer less and they're gonna offer me more. Well, I mean, 240 isn't that bad compared to what it is already. But what if I wanted 250? Or no, 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 what if I wanted 200? Or 220? Do I accept this offer? What if I go 220? I'm curious. 220. Well, all right. I usually negotiate back and forth a few more times, but it's good for now. By the way, I didn't mention what you owe me. While fixing you, it took 500 V and I gave you 1000 V as, so you owe me 1,500. Pay me back the total amount at once after you make enough money. I'll take 15 V per day as it, <laughs> So it's not a good strategy to leave your debt unpaid. Okay, well luckily when I play games like this, I tend to pay it right away. And it's not just the debt that you should make money for. If you don't save money, you won't be treated as a human being after you become a fixie. A fixie? Strictly speaking, they are not human beings. Anyway, to be treated in a fair way, even after you get fixed, you have to join the fixie pension plan. Oh boy. It sounds like the workers thing at Myers to join it. Okay, now I forgot again, the silly requirements. Just so we're clear, it's not because he's old, it's because there was more than one. As far as I remember, you join it by paying 10,000 or 30. I'll let you know the details next time. Making some money is the first thing to do anyway. And don't say anything you shouldn't when AVAC shows up. Just don't try to get involved with them. Good luck, then. Have a great day, my dearest Darcy. Oh, boy. Do I actually get paid for that? No, I don't. Dear citizens of Ajax City, good morning from the Association of Victims of Adverse Crimes. Also known as AVAC. They broadcast... Okay. The association will stay closer to you than ever until Fixer comes down again. Let's win victory in the war against greed together. Thank you. I'm guessing you don't agree. Oh, hi there. You're new here, aren't you? Does Darcy have a problem in managing his part-time workers? The last guy was a nightmare, though. So how good are you? Do you know how to name prices? 
Hold on, hold on. This is Bob. He's not just some part-time kid. He's Darcy's second son. You're Darcy's son? Then is Nari your daughter? Who the hell is that? No, you're talking about Bo Buku? Bo uh, I don't know. And Bob never get... Bob never get... What? Am I right, Bob? Sure, yeah. His hands are shaking already. Anyway, take a look at this. My daughter gave this to my ex-husband who used to be her father. Used to be. Would you please figure it out by yourself? People expect too much from me. I'm divorced. Living with that man meant nothing but a threat to my... Whoa. Okay, I don't think that's true. He always had to keep our heads down when AVAC was here. I heard he's doing some kind of one-man protest these days. Okay. He has some kind of hero complex. Okay, okay, okay. And then what's written on there is removable, so don't worry about it. Bob, why don't you start by 35B? Okay. I mean, that's fair enough. Yeah, alright. That, that's it? You'll, you'll just take that? And hey, you should get your Hugh repaired or something. Yours is so rude. Hughes aren't supposed to talk back to its owner like that. I like him. Please leave now, dear nosy customer. Alright, here's a tip for stock management. Managing the inventory. All items you purchase go directly to inventory. Items are listed here. Click each item to see its details. I see, I see. Very intriguing. Can I actually look at the items right now? Is it this? That's money. This? Nope, that's the log. I guess I can't look at it. Let's open the inventory. It's the button on the center right with a small trot. This. Customers can't see what's inside here, so you have to place items on the showcase to sell them. Displaying items. Display items to start selling. Display an item. Drag out an item from the inventory. Set a selling price. Click the item. Use the calculator. Set its selling price and offer. Clear sold. Clear sold out. Sold items are marked sold. Click X to empty the space. Okay, okay. Good to know. Try placing what you just bought on the showcase to let customers see it. Um, am I stupid? Oh, yeah, this. If he's still talking to me, I can't see it. Should I put it in recommended? Praised. Hmm. Bought at 35, appraised at 60. Wouldn't I want it to cost more? So, like, 45? That makes sense to me. Because you want it to cost more, so you make a, a profit. Are you having fun? Uh, maybe, a little bit. She's so twisted. Whatever, there's one more to tell you, Bob. Uh, reputation card. Witnesses, witness of Darcy's. This card will give you more advantages if you keep recommending valuable items. It will make customers trust your recommendation and encourage them to make a purchase. Oh, I could have ri uh, I could have raised the price higher. Or maybe, no, I think I might have did it right. I think it said rec the recommended was the uh, 660 or whatever. I don't know, I guess we'll see. Witness of Darcy's. It will be automatically created and generate special price. When an item is put on the spot, it's an exceptional selling price for recommended items. Let me just quickly check something. Let's raise that to 65. We'll make five bucks. The card Witness of Darcy is one of the reputation cards, and Darcy will soon explain more about them. Okay, what do I do now? Do I just wait? 
Oh, well, hello there. Hi. Erm, I'd like to sell this here. What is it? Oh, a poster. I almost fell for it when I read this. I expected more stuff to be on the showcase, by the way. Well, I just arrived, so. 20V will do, right? Let's see. Fifty-six. So it's worth twenty-four. Hmm. I'm not sure. It's a poster from AVAC. I don't think I'm supposed to really mess with them. I could just accept his offer. I mean, 20 from the 24 isn't really that bad of a deal. Wait, actually, hang on. I haven't think of this from a different perspective, because I'm thinking of what, how I would sell it. So. Fairly damaged. It doesn't really look all that damaged, in my opinion, but okay. So that lowers it by 60%. Recyclable. The price goes up when it is a target material. Alright, fine. I'll accept your offer. Glad I made it. Just to get it out of the way. Is this... Yeah, that's the second hit. Uh, okay. Sorry, I don't know anything about this town. Uh, are you from another city? Have you escaped the fixer rain? No, I was studying abroad and just came back to find my friend. Then why are you here, not your friend's house? There's an issue. And I'm here to ask you to keep this for me. I had to look around for a place to stay, but it's so heavy and I'm afraid of AVAC. Where do you get a moon rock like this, by the way? And have you been carrying this around the whole time? Yeah, it almost pulled out my arms. Well, I can buy your arms. Uh, anyway, I'll be here by this evening, so please wait for me and don't sell it. Don't sell it. Floaties from another city are so naive. What's the value? Ooh, that's, uh, that's good value. Hello and welcome to Ajax. We have two new stories coming right up. News time. Oh good, my TV at home is broken. First up, AVAC has launched an investigation into the fire at the citizen... The... Kari? Kari, yes, we'll go with that. The investigation is focused on finding if the fire was a mere unfortunate accident or an act of arson. It's probably an act of arson. It's clearly arson. Everyone was just waiting for someone to act. Fair enough. Whoever set the place on fire, I'm fully behind them. Next up, Professor Yong Ji Choi, I think is how you say that. He argues that the lack of clear standards for what we are we are and are not, avarice crimes will cause huge confusion. He also claims AVAC is interpreting the law however they please, leading to the incarceration of innocent citizens. Interesting. I respect his courage, but don't you think he's all just talk? Why can't he do something real? Like, that art- Okay, that- However, AVAC countered that if we set clear-cut laws, many will find ways to circumvent them. Fair enough, that's true. The rules must be ambiguous and penalties must be harsh to make the citizens behave. Now that I'm not entirely sure I agree with. The sound's not working. I told Darcy to at least get a somewhat decent TV. Citizens of Ajax City, the Bunker of Freedom is opening its doors once again. The bunker is opening again? It's gonna get loud around here. To let as many citizens as possible avoid a fixer rain, we have lowered the entrance fee. Last time they said that, they charged 100,000. 
this. The new entrance fee is 25,000. Oh, okay. Well, I can hide from the fixer with 25,000. I of course, only pure floaties can enter the bunker. What, what does that mean? It goes without saying. And ticket sales are scheduled to begin in five weeks. I, I see this is something I have to go towards. Until the day we meet, the bunker of freedom will be waiting for you all. The citizen discourse data, still pretty quiet. Folks must be watching out on what they say because of AVAC. But the data recorder's block in here, right? This is a once-in-a-lifetime chance. I won't need to stick the silly fixie pension anymore. And I'm not gonna miss this. Okay. He's all excited. Avax's gonna catch up to him before that. He didn't... But they didn't mention one thing. I'm curious if they'll charge you extra for bringing Hugh. Can't you ask around for me, Bob? I want to go to the bunker, too. I don't want to be left with fixies. We'll see. I will consider. Oh, everything going all right? Of course, Darcy. I'm here. Everything's easy yet, huh? Hang on. What is that rock in the storage? Guess what? Darcy, that's a moon rock. And maybe you can make some money by selling it. Where'd you get it? Some lady just came in and asked us to keep it for a few hours. So you got it for free? Yeah, but she will come back in a few hours. If she's that st I mean, if she's in a situation to ask you that, I'm pretty sure that she's being chased by AVAC. She won't make it then. Why don't you just give it to me? I was actually in need of money. Come on. <sighs> I think we can make money without it. It was worth quite a bit of money, though, to be honest. Let's see. 425. Hmm. No, I think I'm going to change this one more time. I think 45 actually was a good offer. We're gonna... 45. 45. I think it'll work better that way. No, you can't take it. Looks like I brought a stubborn one. Fine, fine. Sorry, Darcy, but I'm trying to be a good guy. You can't hurt his feelings like that, Bob. I didn't hurt his feelings, I just... I'm trying to be a good guy. If she comes back, I'll give it to her. And if she doesn't, then I'll give it to him. You're Darcy's son. The one came back from Bluebird? I found this at home. How much can I get for it? I was keeping this to honor Eugen O's death. So you're done with mourning now? <laughs> you should buy this if you want to fill up your showcase. The funeral will be held by AVAC. Okay. 29. So it's appraised at 27. Let's go with 24. Well, now I can relax. I was worried that things would go hard here. Works for me. It was my birthday present. Can you please tell me how much this was worth? Uh. Oh. Oh no. Uh, huh. Uh, 
Well, uh, it really just depends. I mean, if you're going off of true value, like, will it really do anything for you? Then it's worth nothing. But if you want to go off of... I'm, I'm trying, okay? I really am. I mean... It's... Uh, it, it's worth nine. I'm sorry. Good, and it was so great to know every detail about this. Oh, I didn't know he was trying to sell it to me. I thought well, it was just nine anyways. Not that big of a deal. I thought he was just trying to get the... Hey, I'm back. Is my moon rock safe? Of course. There you go. Thanks so much. I could tell by sight, but you're really a nice person. Wish you have a great evening, then. You're welcome. And, of course, she didn't even mention anything about a storage fee. Yeah, I suppose it's a fair point. I should have charged her. It was my birthday present. Can you please tell me how much this is worth? Why are you selling... Why does everyone want to sell their birthday presents? I'll do 26. Not good enough. Good, and it was so great to know every detail about this. Should have charged him more. Why do you sell your own birthday present? Uncle? Uh, what? Why is she being so weird these days? Bob, this is Nari Joe. She's your fake niece. You mean he's my fake uncle? Why would Bob leave Bluebird for a crapple like this in the first place? Hey you, if you're dreaming about inheriting the story, you better shut it off right now. Because there's no seat for a bogus son like old. Oh. And this place is supposed to be mine once Grandpa passes away. You know what? You can have it. Now cut the crap and buy off this cup. Why do you keep bring? Do I have to explain? Or why don't you sell your paintings? You have tons of them. Stop that joke. Do you think I'd sell my works to a place like this? Please think before you open your mouth. Quit whining and take this cup for a 90. What? Um, excuse me? 90? No. No way. Looks like someone needs a, what do you mean a lesson? It's worth 29. Let me make this one thing clear. If you ever ruin the soon-to-be-inherited Hanari store... Okay. Anyway, once Grandpa finds out what a deadbeat you are, he'll... <laughs> Whatever. You have to stay strong, Bob. She even makes me want to run away sometimes. Ugh. You know, I just realized something. I'm supposed to be selling this stuff. Didn't really register in my mind. We gotta make a profit, so we'll go with like 12. In the backpack. We'll do 31. I don't know if I'm doing this right. I guess we'll find out soon enough. Praise at 27, bought at 24. We'll make that 26, a nice even. Praise at 24, about at 20. We'll go with 22. I think that's fair. Breaking news from Ajak Ajak. 
the Association of Victims of Adverse Crimes is still looking for four missing persons. After the fire broke in the Citizens Alliance Research Institute, all missing are men in their 30s, including an accounting staff, Seng Su Han, Bok Bei, and Jisoo Cha, I think that's how you say that, who have been working as researchers at the Institute, and, an, and experiment participant Yong Do. This reporter, Sei Wu, uh, oh my god, you don't need to avoid my eyes, I don't care if you're one of the four missing, just don't cause any harm to Darcy. Don't worry, I will do my best not to do that. So how was your first day here? Come on, Darcy, I was with him the whole day. And he's still here with us. By the way, there's a thing you have to do. Next Monday, Avac will come by to check your identification. So you have to make a fake ID by this Friday. Fortunately, there's a man who can make fake IDs. He lives in the same building as you, right above your room. Visit him after work since he sleeps during the day and works at night. He will ask for 800 if you can afford it, visit him right after this. Darcy, what if our new Bob fails to get a fake ID? Well then, Avac will come to take my fake son away. You guys are just lovely, you know that. Oh, is it closed? Yeah, sorry, we are closed. Then what about this gentleman here? He is the owner of this place. Oh, is he? By the way, is the is this the theme? theme? What theme? To wrap up an employee's face to make him look like a mummy? Oh... Or was he just caught in terrible tor turmoil? Nah, just kidding. Have a good evening, then. No, thank you. You're a really lovely dude. Did he hear us? No, nah, I don't think so. But, no, let's forget about him. Anyways, just make sure to get your fake ID by this Friday. It's for yourself. I wrote it on the calendar, too. The small one behind me. This one right here. I'm guessing. It doesn't really look like a calendar. Dear citizens, the Association of Victim of Adverse Crimes is announcing the day is at an end. The forecast for tomorrow is sunny in the morning, but rainy in the afternoon. As you know, no umbrellas are allowed. Thank you. I know you want to you take me with you, but this is my own. If you get to miss me deadly, have a dream of me tonight. Too low. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. Let's go to our house, wherever that is. It's not the lower floor, I know that. Man, I don't look very good. <laughs> uh, hmm. Interesting. Now let's go back on this thingy. Jump off the ledge? No, I'm just kidding. We're not going to do that. Oh. You must pay your fine now to prove you're not in possession. Or else I'll arrest you. Ooh. You guys are mean. Where do I live again? Not here. Is it the bottom, I think? Maybe? Do you know what the guy next door is like? Uh, no, I don't. Finish the day. Bought at 20. Sold for... None. Because nobody wants to buy any of my crap. A woman asked me to keep her moon rock, blah, 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 okay, but lovely, lovely. We sold nothing and we gained nothing. Okay. Well, I hope you guys found this game to be interesting. If you do, and I get a decent response, there may be an episode two. So if you do want an episode two, I would recommend leaving a like and leaving a comment letting me know that you are interested. And you know what, while you're in the comments section, you should recommend another game for me. Because I am having a hard time finding games that I can actually record that are, how do I put this, intriguing enough that people will stay for the entire video to watch it all the way through. And I'm also still trying to work out 
how much time to put into a video because sometimes I put in hours and cut it down or I just leave it depending on how I feel in the day. Sometimes I record like 10 minutes, sometimes I record like 20 minutes. I'm trying to find a nice sweet spot and I think it really just depends on the person. Some people want the longer videos, some people want the shorter videos, most people want the short ones from what I can tell. So, we'll take it by year, so to speak, and go from what everybody wants, I suppose. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.